Hi guys, how are you? This is Joan. Anybody like kimchi as much as I do? I love kimchi and kimchi is one of my favorite fermented vegetables. And the kimchi, as you all know, is coming from my motherland, Korea. Uh, there's many different kinds of kimchi out there and also many different styles to make kimchi. However, today I'm going to teach you sugar-free kimchi uh, using kale, mustard green, chives, and apple. Um, instead of using sugars, uh, we're going to use apples to ferment um, our kimchi today. So I know that the lactobacilli bacteria that ferment kimchi can live on the natural sugars uh, in the cabbage and um, carrots and other vegetables in kimchi. However, we're not going to use uh, Napa cabbage, the traditional Napa cabbage. We're going to use kale because I love kale and I like to experiment today how this kale mustard green kimchi is really come out uh, without using no sugar um, environment. Uh, actually, I'm lying. It's not not no sugar environment. So we're going to use apples to ferment the kimchi. All right. So I was ready. Yeah. Let's get started. Let's go into my kitchen. Let's go. Okay guys, let's wash and rinse the kale really thoroughly and we're going to remove all the excess dirt and we're going to remove the stem off and cut into bite sizes. Very nice. This is a pada sukum, so sea salt. We need about 1 fourth cup of salt and 1 cup of cold water. Mix it really well. Very nice. Then we're going to toss them around on top of the kale and we're going to toss them around very well. Very nice. Uh, if you want, you can salt the kale in a large bowl as well. So make sure to uh, add enough salt to make a seawater-like brine and submerge the kale when you do that. Okay, so we're going to stand for 3 to 4 hours. Uh, this is like about 4 hours later and you can check to see if this is all softened. And it looks pretty good. So now it's ready. So what we're going to do, we're going to rinse the kale and drain to remove the salted water out so you're gonna do this about three times okay now let's rinse and wash and cut our mustard green so we're also going to cut mustard green into a bite sizes as well and if you have a salad spinner you can remove the excess water with using this and um, or just uh, just let it uh, drain for about 10 to 15 minutes okay now we're going to uh, wash our chives you can buy chives from any Korean market all right so let's cut it okay so we cut it to a bite size as well and onions too we're gonna julienne the onions now we're gonna wash an apple and I personally like Fuji apple it's so sweet so we need about half an apple we're gonna cut it into a nice little big chunk okay guys we are all ready so look at this we have um, garlics chives onions apple chives and mustard green and salted kale so this is all prepared and ready to go this is a fish sauce so if you have fish sauce you can use this kind or you can use ekjot or canary ekjot or melty ekjot and you can buy it in any korean market and this is a kochukaru hot pepper flakes uh, I know that some people would like to actually use chili powder, but please, no, 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 no chili powder or um, paprika. That's not gonna work, guys. So make sure to use kochukaru. So you can buy kochukaru in Korean market. So go Korea, uh, Korean, any Korean store to buy kochukaru to mix your kimchi to bring up the color just right. So. Um, I'm gonna keep mixing it. Since you have a uh, uh, chives in there, try not to uh, mix it really, really hard because then you're going to uh, bruise the uh, chives. So that's not good. So let's taste. So taste to see if it tastes right. So I think it's pretty good. So I am going to uh, just wrap it up. This is pretty good. 
Okay, so this is what it looks just right after you mix it. I didn't put way too much of gochugaru because I don't want to uh, I don't want to make my kimchi way too spicy because it's kind of hard whenever I go use the bathroom next morning. So I try not to use way too much of gochugaru because you know what I'm talking about when you eat like really spicy food and you're having a hard time to use the bathroom. You're gonna feel that, right? Anyway. So, okay, let's wrap it up. Okay, so you have to seal really, really tight and put a little note. Day one, beauty sleep. And take a look. This is one day, you know, after, you know, I made it, but it's still really vibrant. It's pretty nice and it's not gonna go die. And um, this is day three. Actually, on the day two, I thought, oh my God, I totally failed it. But on the day three, look at this, it's pretty good, it's pretty tasty. So I was pretty excited and surprised that, oh my god, I did pretty well. And uh, I tasted and I thought that I need a little more fish sauce, so I just put maybe a half tablespoon. Okay, so I'm going to put into a little uh, jar here. You can use any kind of jar, you know, it's okay to use like you know, glass jar or plastic jars, anything that you like and put it right there. And if you want to uh, ferment your uh, kimchi a little more longer than three days, you can totally do that. Or just, just like what I did, you know, this is a day three, like you no know, three days fermented uh, kimchi. So this kimchi, you can uh, eat it right away and with rice or meat dish or pasta or anything you like. And I love kimchi anyway. So it can be refrigerated for about a month or two, but with these two uh, jars of kimchi, I can totally go with what? Um, within a month. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye. Enjoy the kimchi.